Now student we are going to discuss question number 9.5 and in this question it is given to you two wires of diameter 0.25 cm made of steel and other made of brass are loaded as shown in a figure. Point. The unloaded length of steel wire is 1.5 meter and for brass this is 1 meter. Clear? Now what is my objective? My objective is very clear. We have to find elongation of steel and brass wire. Clear? So now concentrate on a screen. So if I am talking about elongation part, clear? So we know very well formula for elongation this is given by FL over AY, clear? So now we can say if I am talking about steel, if I am talking about steel wire, clear? So if I am talking about steel wire, I can say elongation in steel wire that is given by F, I can say LS divided by AS and I can say this is YS. Clear? Now important part is here whenever I am talking about steel wire. So what is external loading that is taking place here? So I can say here we have 4 kg. I am neglecting uh, mass of this uh, wire that is brass wire and we can say this is 6 kg. So total if we talk about 4 plus 6 total 10 kg weight is hanging on this wire. Clear to you? So I can say we can write like this. This is 10 and we can multiply it with G. Okay. Length of steel wire. Length of steel wire is given to you 1.5 and divided by if we are talking about area cross section area of this steel wire. So uh, it is given in the question. Yes. Diameter is given to you. So we can write like this pi r. We can say 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square. Clear to you. And what about Young's modulus? Young's modulus of a steel wire we have 2 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square. Clear. So from here we can write like this delta xx this is given by <coughs> 100 into 1.5 divided by 3.14 into I can say this 0.125 this is equal to 1 by 8 so 1 by 8 multiply 1 by 8 multiply 10 to the power minus 4 and this is 2 into 10 to the power 11 clear to everyone so now we can see uh, this one we have a 4 Clear? So I can say this is 150 divided by 3.14. Clear? <coughs> multiply with 8, multiply 4 and this is 10 to the power 7. Clear? So now I can say approximately if I am taking this is 3. Clear? So definitely we can say here we will find this is equal to 50. Clear? Approximate calculation I am taking. So approximately 50 into I can say 32 into 10 to the power 7. Clear? So now if you multiply, you will find here this is a uh, 0, we have 1, so 160. Clear? So 160 into 10 to the power 8 and I can say this in meter. Clear to you? Yes or no? Okay. One more thing is here. Here you will find minus 7. Clear? So this one is minus, this one is also minus. Clear? So from here we can see elongation this is produced in a steel wire that is given by approximately 16 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter clear to everyone or definitely the elongation will come uh, slightly less because this is 3.14 clear that's why we are actually assuming here value uh, we are assuming value of pi that this is equal to 3 clear so we are getting here 160 into 10 to the power minus 8 clear so this is all about uh, wire steel clear now same if we calculate for brass wire listen carefully same if I calculate for brass wire so for brass wire uh, I can actually put here all values like this. Uh, if I am talking about this brass wire, the total amount of mass this is hanging, we have 6 kg. Clear? So I just write here, instead of 10, I will write only 6. Clear everyone? So I will write here this is 6. Clear? 6 g, we have length of a uh, brass wire that is equal to, we can see 1.0. Clear? So here we have 1.0. Now radius of brass wire is also same. Clear? And now if we are talking about Young's modulus value. Clear? So Young's modulus value for copper wire. I am writing here Young's modulus value for copper wire. Clear? So what is value of uh, Young's modulus for copper wire? Again do not uh, memorize it. I am just telling you that value is given 0 0.91. 0 0.91 into 10 to the power 11 Newton per meter square clear this will be definitely given you in a question clear now now if we solve definitely after solving it we can find 
our answer. Clear? So now concentrate on a screen. Yes. Now concentrate. Now we can solve it. Let's suppose we can say this is 60 multiply 1 divided by. I can say this is 3.14 multiply. This one is what? 1 by 8. So I can say 1 by 8 multiply 1 by 8 into I can say 10 to the power minus 4 into 0 0.91 into 10 to the power 11. Clear to you? So now we can say 60 into 8 into 8 divided by. 60, uh, we can say 60, 60 multiply 8 multiply 8 divided by 3.14 into 0 0.91 into 10 to the power I can say 7, clear? So now we have to solve it and definitely we can get our answer, clear? So now listen carefully, yes, here we are talking about deformation that is produced in a copper wire, I can say here we have a copper wire, clear? At all place we will write here copper, clear? So we can see here we have a copper, this one is also for copper, copper and copper, clear? So, oh, actually, sorry, this is a brass, I am extremely sorry, this is for brass, clear? So, we can see here we have brass, clear? Here we have brass, this one is also for brass, this is one also for brass, clear? So, Young's modulus for brass, this is given to you 0 0.91 into 10 to the power 11, clear? Now, we are solving it. So, we can write like this delta x, delta x is given by 60 into 8 into 8, 60 into 8 into 8 divided by, now we can say 3.14 and this is 0 0.91, so if you say approximately I am taking this multiplication approximately equal to 3, clear, so this is 3 into 10 to the power 7, so we can write like this, this is approximately 20 into 8 into 8 into 10 to the power minus 7. Clear? So from here I can write value of delta x in a or we can say deformation in a brass wire this one is given by 64, clear 64 multiplied to 128. So 128 0 into 10 to the power minus 7, clear? So from here we can say we can write like this, this is 10 to the power minus 7. So uh, 1.28 into uh, we can say 10 to the power minus 5, clear? So this Dear student, uh, actually we can see this is 10 to the power minus 4, clear? I can say this is 10 to the power minus 4 and we can say this is a value for uh, deformation this is produced in a brass wire, clear? So this is all about this question.